everybody welcome back today we're gonna check out the comments let's get straight into it you didn't say it's amazing skin thank you thank you thank you welcome everyone says isn't siya quite making a squeeze and ascending big, big triangle and yeah it's a squeeze you're right right lower highs higher lows but the question we have is uh is this it could, could we still drop a bit lower before heading higher is this possible? Yeah, it's possible. As long as this low holds, uh, then this could be a proper complete squeeze. So I, I to be honest, right, I, I suspect that uh, CR coin is heading towards this uh, noisy area over here. So from the price to where this noisy area is, it's a seventy percent drop. Right. I would rather be late. I seen like, let's say for example, right, things were to start turning bullishly. I, I would rather be late and get in here, then to get in here and then being trapped. 70% down, I'm trapped. So, I think that's the wiser thing to do. To wait for things to start turning bullish first. Doesn't matter, there will definitely be a, an opportunity to make a move. And then we continue to ride back up, right? Uh, getting in at a retrace. But as it stands, I still think that uh, the possibility of a 70% move for CR coin still exists uh, as of now. So, uh, I will preach caution because we're also under the skinny pink line. So the moment you go under the skinny pink line, we assume a bearish bias and a bearish continuation to come on for CR coin, probably clearing all these clusters of cells before a potential reversal. So if anything, I'll probably be waiting at 0 0.00, uh, 0.0013, yeah, somewhere around there. So that's my take for CR coin. But yeah, definitely it's in a squeeze. It's time for baby dodge. Yes, sir. So baby dodge, just like CR coin, is also in a squeeze. So, okay, wait, let's go back to CR coin. For CR coin, we actually have a target at 55 cents, which means that even when the breakout comes, we're expecting 55 cents to be hit. But the question is, when is the breakout, right? Is the breakout going to happen? You know, we drop a little bit lower, consolidate a little bit, 2027, 2028, or is the breakout going to happen in 2024, 2025? Do you think we have time to go all the way to 55 cents? This is going to take about a year though, in my opinion, to hit. So, I don't know, bro. I suspect this is still going to be hit first. Anyway, moving on to Baby Dodge. Baby Dodge against USD on gate. Yeah, so Baby Dodge. Okay, like for the same example which I have uh, showed on CR coin just now, right? We thought that this could already be it, right? But what happened was we dropped lower, clearing all these clusters of cells, right? So, if we were to go back to CR coin. Okay. So if you were to go back to see a coin, right? Hey, bro, are we unlock? Yes. So if you were to go back, okay, let's do this on a weekly. So if you were to go back to see a coin, it's the same thing. Let's do weekly here as well. It's the same thing, right? See what happened? We actually did drop here all of these clusters of cells before pushing the price higher. Right? We could still drop to clear all these clusters of cells before pushing the price higher. You see that? So that's why for CR coin, this possibility still exists, you see. Mm. So yeah, but anyway, anyway, baby Dodge is uh, starting to turn bullish. So now we are thinking, huh, is this it? You know, again, uh, I would rather be late than to be too early. Because for baby Dodge, there's also a potential that we drop all the way down here, you see. But we held this low. And then buying pressure came in to push the price higher. And we're above the skinny pink line, which is great. Uh, but as it stands, we're still within the confines of the squeeze. It's still a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. We could, to be honest, right, come all the way back down again. And this thing could stretch all the way into 2027, 2028. That's the possibility of it. So, again, as it stands, yeah, even this is also like, you know, marginally higher highs. So, the risk is still there that uh, baby Dosh could be falling lower. Anyway, baby Dodge is already at uh, 400 million. Right? 400 million market caps. Uh, what? Okay, that's quite a lot though. If it was like 40 million or 4 million, great. But it's 400 million. If it does a 10x from here, it becomes a $4 billion coin. $4 billion um, is going to put you above so many other coins. It's going to put you above Pepe, Internet Computer, Fetch. You're going to be above so many other coins. Is it possible? Sure, but uh, as it stands, 
Hmm. Again, I will preach caution. Wait for a retrace first. Right. Again, I don't mind being late even if we were to rise up here. Uh, maybe clear out these two lows. Uh, sorry, these two highs first. Before a retrace, maybe we retrace back towards the support. Then we make our entries to take the right higher. Again, as long as we're above the skinny pink line, we remain with our bullish bias. But uh, you must also look at the history of Baby Dodge. It has a history of spiking up and then fizzling back down. Spiking up, fizzling back down. Could we see another fizzling? Mm. So, yeah. You gotta notice history. Study from history. Mew against USD. Because every chart has its own personality. Okay, Mew is also in a squeeze. If you look very closely, Mew is in a very nice squeeze over here. So I suspect that Mew is about to break out. Ta -da! We have a target fresh out of the oven for you at uh, 2.8 cents. Oh, going back to Baby Dodge, right? Even Baby Dodge, we have targets for it towards the upside, right? Just like CR coin, we have targets. But the question is, when is the breakout going to come? Right? There's 1, 2, 3, and there's 26, 260,000, and 123,000. From where we are to... Uh, 123,000 is about 300%. And this is a 800% move. It could be a 10x though. A tenner. Right. Going back to... Where are we? Mew. Going back to Mew, right? Have it? No. Bro. Okay. Going back to Mew. Yeah. This looks to me like a squeeze. And I think it's only a matter of time before the breakout comes. This could really be it though, to be honest. I suspect that we could still drop a bit lower, potentially. So, we're going to have to wait and see first. Right. Uh, but I feel that we are, we're gearing up for a breakout. Right. And the breakout could result in a 356% move up to 3 cents. Right now, we're at 6148. Yeah, I, I suspect there's something coming on from you. So, target fresh out of the oven for Mew. More likely than not, a breakout for Mew is expected. So, yeah, brace yourself, man. This this is a very nice squeeze coming on. Yeah, I think we're about to see a very nice break. So, yeah, but of course, the question is, are we going to stop at this? Uh, yeah, something like that over here. Uh, is there a possibility that we hit lower? Yeah, there is. So, if we could recover from here, great. Right. Let's pull out a... Yeah, we could still clear these clusters of cells, you see. Going down to the 618 level. There is that possibility as well. Hmm. We'll see how it goes first though. But Mew could be breaking higher. So yeah, the only thing is the timing. The timing of things. If you get something clearer here, great. Resistance, yep. Stay safe. Stay safe. And you say congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Get my little baby. Hey, look at this. I'm wallpaper now. <laughs> He's sleeping peacefully. It's only like 16 days or 17 days. I don't know. It's, it's just a baby. His skin is still uh, like, like a newborn skin, slightly reddish. So, yeah, it's a newborn. Congrats, congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Papa Hood, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. That's the meaning of life, right? Having children. Yeah, there you go. All right. Hope you guys have a great, great Friday and a great, great weekend ahead of you. See you in the next one. Ta-da!